Hi, I'm Leah. We're here at Move to Move, and I'm going to go through a 90-90 hip mobility series with you today. So today we're going to have everyone start in our 90-90 positioning, meaning that you're bent at 90 degrees at your front knee, 90 degrees between your two thigh bones, and 90 degrees on that back leg. And we're going to have our right leg facing forward, trail leg is your left leg. So the first thing we're gonna go over today is our basic 90-90 transition. So if you're not able to sit up completely straight, you can take the hand, your right hand, and you can actually post it out a little bit further so that you don't have a kink on your left side of your back. We wanna actively pull our front and our back knee down into the ground, and you wanna square your pelvis up towards your front shin. First thing that I'm gonna have you do is I want you to actively pull your front leg down into the ground as you try to lift your trail left knee up towards the ceiling. Try to fight for as much range as possible, not letting the front leg leave the ground. Once you can't lift the trail leg anymore, scoop that trail heel through and try to access a little bit more range now bring your left hand behind, supporting yourself as needed, transitioning onto both sit bones. We're in our bear position now. Now let's scoop that right heel out as far as you can, knee tracking in, and now complete the transition, allowing that left knee to come to the ground. So there's our 90-90 transition. Let's do a couple together. We'll go back and forth two more times. So let's actively pull that left front leg down into the ground, trail right knee comes up to the ceiling, fight for more range, scoop that right heel through, transition onto both sit bones, left heel scoops out, knee follows in, and square yourself up to that front right leg. One more time back and forth. Actively pull that right leg down, trail left knee, pull it up, find more range. Good, scoop the heel through, transitioning onto both sit bones, hand support as needed, right heel out, knee follows in, and our left leg transitions down to the ground. Last one here, left knee, pull it down into the ground, Lift that trail right leg. Scoop that heel through. Transition through the bear position. Left heel out, knee follows in. And finally, allow that right knee down. All right, so now we're going to go through 90-90 through a middle splits transition and then back to our 90-90. So, this time around, once we get into our bear, we're gonna slide our heels out on an imaginary line, pause for a second, and then retract back in, back into our bear, then continue through to our opposite side. So let's actively pull that right knee down into the ground, trail left knee, let's pull it up. Same entrance as our previous 90-90, let's scoop that heel through. Once we're in our bare hand support as needed, and let's pull those heels straight out in the same line. Good. Trying to access our sit bones, get a little bit more into that anterior pelvic tilt. Hands can be in front, or if that's not available to you, you can bring them in behind for support. Let's pull those heels straight back up on that imaginary line to 90 degree knee bend. Right heel scoops out, knee follows in, and now we transition across to our left side. We'll do that one more time, back and forth. So left leg, pull it down into the ground. Trail right knee goes up. Scoop that heel through, transitioning into our bear. And now let's slide those heels out. Pause for a second in our middle splits. Let's retract back into that 90 degree knee bend. Scoop the left heel out and we'll transition across facing the right side. 
Good. All right, one more time back and forth. Actively pull that right leg down into the ground. Trail left knee up. Scoop that heel. Transition into bear. Slide those heels. Retract back in. Scoop the right heel out. Knee follows in and you should be facing that left side. Last time going back the opposite direction. Actively pull that left leg down into the ground. Pull that right knee up to the ceiling. Access as much range as possible. Then scoop that heel through. Transition into our bear. Slide out into middle splits. Straight back in on those heels. Scoop the left heel out and knee follows in. Good. Now our third option is going to be our shin box option here. So to get into that position here, what we're going to do is we're actually going to do um, some hovers here. Or if you're finding that's not available, the easiest option is going to be just trying to slide your heels back into this collapse 90-90 position. So the more advanced variation to get into that position is we're gonna start with our front leg here. We're gonna actively lift that front leg up into the air, hinge at the knee, and pull that foot all the way to your groin as close as you can, placing it down on the ground. Now we're gonna work with that trail leg, lifting that trail leg up into the air without moving your upper body forward. Let's hinge that knee and pull the heel towards your sit bones bringing yourself into that collapse 90-90. From here, we're gonna hinge at the hips, bringing our chest over top of that front shin, hand support as needed, or a more advanced variation with arms in front. Squeezing the glutes, lifting up. From here, pull that right leg out and replace it with the left. Hinge at the hips. Hand support as needed and gently come down to the ground. From here, we're gonna just return back. So hinge back. Again, hands on the ground if needed. Squeeze those glutes, come all the way up. Get as much hip extension as possible. Left leg out, right leg in and hinge back down. Good. One more time each side, let's hinge forward. Extend up, right leg out, left in, and hinge down. Last one here to even ourselves out. Let's hinge forward, glutes engaged, extend up, left leg out, right replaces, and hinge back down. Good. So we're going to now add on to the shin box transition and we're going to add a squat. So everyone has their right leg still in front. Let's hinge forward, extend up. From here, you're going to bring that trail leg and you're going to sweep it in front. Good. Back leg, dorsiflex. And now let's bring that knee open. Staying low through your squat, left knee comes to the ground, and now sweep that right leg around, hinge back down, in control. Let's return back to where we came from, hinge forward, extend up, right leg comes around, tuck that back trail foot, open that knee. Right knee comes down and sweep the left around, staying tall, and now hinge back down. Excellent. All right, 
So that gives you some options to work through some hip mobility as well as some isometric movement paths, accessing that through our 90-90 transitions.